Hello everybody, Adam Lusek here, and today I'm going to go over how to get local models up and running on your Mac. This is super easy to do with a few of these packages, and you can get it integrated with some of your Python applications almost immediately. You've probably seen and heard about sort of open source models, things like Llama 2, Mistral, Phi 2 from Microsoft, Gemma, the new models from Google, and you want to know how to sort of get those up and running. Well, I am going to go through today and show you exactly how to get those running and then connect them into your Python projects through Langchain. First, you should be very familiar with what your system is actually capable of running locally. And to do this, you really need to check out your RAM. This is super easy to do on Apple. You click this Apple sign and then click about this Mac up here. And then that will bring up something that looks a little bit like this. And I took a screenshot just so that I could hide my serial number. But this is where you'll see exactly what you're working with. You see here that I'm working on a MacBook Pro 16-inch 2023 with an Apple M2 Pro chip and 16 gigabytes of memory. This memory is the most important part that you want to make sure you are noting down because that's going to determine what models you can actually run locally. And if we look here at the Olama GitHub page, you can see that they have a note that you should have at least eight gigabytes of RAM to run seven billion parameter models, 16 gigabytes of RAM to run 13 billion parameter models, and then 32 gigabytes to run 33 billion parameter models. And this goes upward and onward. So the more RAM, the bigger models that you can, um, that you can take advantage of. But if you only have eight gigabytes of RAM, which is very, um, very normal these days, you can run things like Llama 2, Mistral 7B, Phi 2 definitely, and all of these smaller ones. The smaller Gemma models, the normal Gemma models, and things like that. So once you have that all down and you have a model sort of in mind of what you're looking at, let's get into how to actually get Olama up and running to start running these things locally. So the easiest way to get up and running with these models locally is by going through Olama. So all you have to do is navigate to olama.com and they make it super simple. You click here on the download, choose your operating system. I'm using Mac OS, so I'll download for Mac OS and it will immediately then, there we go, download olama.zip. You're gonna unzip that with your file and loader of choice where it'll then be an application. We're gonna move this to our applications folder and then go down here and find it. I can never find these things quickly. There we go. And just double click it. All right, you're going to say open since it is an application from the internet. It's going to want that extra layer just to make sure that you are OK with opening it up. Sweet. So once that's open, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. Let's get you up and running with your own large language models. Sounds wonderful. You're going to click next, and then it says install the command line. To do that, all you have to do is click install, and then you're going to need to type in your password. All right, and then it says, run your first model. Run this command in your favorite terminal. So once you've actually done all that and typed in your password, all you have to do is press finish, and then we're going to switch over to the terminal. They suggest that you run Llama 2 first, but I actually want to try something different. So I'm first going to go to models and find the one that I want. I want to try out Gemma. Specifically, I want to try out their 7B one. And to get to the terminal, quick and easy shortcut is you can press Command and Space to open up Spotlight, and then type Terminal. Once you type Terminal, it'll bring up a window that looks exactly like this. And then this is where you're going to type in these commands. So I want to run the 7 billion parameter Gemma model. So I'm going to type Olama run Gemma 7B. And then there we go. It'll start downloading the model, which is going to be about 5.2 gigabytes. So I'll be back once that actually downloads. All right, so it's just about to finish up here downloading the 5.2 gigabytes. And then it'll run through a few extra steps just to make sure everything's running smoothly. Here we go. Pulling some additional documents in, making sure all the dependencies are loaded, all that good stuff. It's going to verify it all. 
do all this. And then success. So if you see success, that means that it is currently running locally on your machine. So now we have our own local instance of Gemma, 7 billion parameter running here. And in the terminal, you can right away, they have a very easy chat setup. So I can do things like say, why is the sky blue? And see what its output is. All right, Rayleigh scattering. And look at that, Gemma 7B running locally on my machine. So you can use just this chat function to chat back and forth, and it appears to be outputting in a markdown format. Um, but let's now talk about how you can actually plug this in to things like Langchain and other different factors to consider so that you can start using your own local models on your own actual projects. The first useful thing to know is that it's actually hosting this out of a port and that is port 11434. So if you type localhost colon 11434 into your web browser, you can check whether or not Olama is actually running and whether or not your model that you're hosting is actually up and running so that you can ping it. This is also especially useful if you want to use things like the REST API to um, do post and get requests for very, very specific things. But Let's go now into a super simple way of plugging this into Langchain to see how we can then interact with our own locally hosted Gemma model. So I've moved over to this Jupyter Notebook and as you can see, super simply in all of about four lines of code, really just three if you don't count this simple print so that we can see the response, you can start interacting with the model. The first thing is that we're gonna import the Langchain community.llms package and import Olama. This makes it so then on here on our second line, we can specify the LLM by running the olama function and specifying the model. Then all you need to do then is invoke that language model with whatever input you want. So I put why is the sky blue here again with the LLM.invoke function. And then here I'm storing it in the response variable and then I'm gonna print the response. So let's go ahead and run this and see what it prints out. Sweet. So as you can see, a lot about what we originally saw in our terminal here, almost exactly. A Little bit different, but still the same wonderful output that we were looking for. And this is great. So now you have your very own large language model running locally on your machine, not connected to any sort of internet, not connected to any, um, other service just through Olama that you can then mess around with and plug into your own projects using Langchain. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.